can get any kills, but get the map control. And Taya B is left out for free control um, for Raise Your Edge, so they get a free plant. And now we're going to see a push from um, from OG to get some exit kills, I guess. But uh, it's going to be tough to do that against Kyle's on the Reyna. But he's basically a raid boss here. Yeah, it's, it's tough to deal with Kyle's at any time, really, considering the fact that he's the Reyna. And we've seen him dominate in some duels before. Although on this map, it is definitely CNED that takes the cake. Playing a jet, though, you... You want that to be the case. Right now, though, farming up eco frags, Kiles, Cold Amenta. They've uh, made sure they don't lose too many players. And for Tvik, sitting outside this wall, he's just hoping that someone pushes him and gives him a 1v1 fight. But as he peeks, he sees thing out. So now they can take one by one fights. That, that's so unlucky. The wall up above as Tvik is falling, he gets damaged down to 31 HP. A recon dart that doesn't land in this universe. It's fallen to the world below. He's tucked underneath the wall, though, and there's a nice easy kill to start it. Taken down afterwards, but his teammates trading back. Oh, gee, they've lost control of the site, but they've got the man advantage now to attempt to retake it. An ult from Reyna up close, caught in the back, but disappears. AKM can't get anything done, and it's all down to Element. The spray runs out of ammo, classic no out, way. and there we go. Element gets it done. Both players running out of ammunition in their primary weapon, and it's the quick switch to the classic that gets it done. Two to one. Do you think that stocks actually didn't hit the button and he will stop the push as well they have to commit 20 seconds to that execute mitch what is going on the recon dart's gonna hopefully spot some of them or draw their crosshairs away Tvik taken down straight away on that aggressive push and cnet he's already on the site with the vandal in hand but akm returning fire spike dropped in the open now retrieved starzo tries to make it to the site deals with akm looks for more and catches element now the final player all they have to worry about that nano swarm not going to stop them and just enough time to get that through rez comes into play starzo trying to take the fight and allow that rez to come all the way a 3v1 this looked like it was done and dusted raise your edge on the back foot but now only buy has got to do it all with a guardian seven bullets left in the magazine three players to deal with and he has to take these fights all at once because they're lined up they're ready with the crossfire and that's the easiest round in that 3v1 for raise your edge through oh look they actually because they jumped up on top of the wall i'll interrupt myself they actually destroyed the nano swarm uh because they heard it and they're aware of that position and, and the tendency akm shutting down cnet here this could be a problem they've dealt with them gone for the, the full heal up because the ultimate's obviously in play so you're basically back to full health after that that's not not a kind of duel that you want to be taking a 1v1 versus kill us at the moment you want to make sure you can trade them otherwise the damage you do is well, completely irrelevant. Bone Cold, our man, he's already out of the round. Kill is dealt with by the Shock Dart. Very nicely done. I thought it was just going to tickle him up, but you know, his uh, teammate tagged him too. Just to leave <laughs> that, Cold Damenta. <laughs> that's the way you want to play against the Reina, right? Just don't give her a chance to shoot. Something that probably isn't relevant. They just go back and play sight, combined with the fact that they're getting kills elsewhere. But at ultimate going through, trying to deny the res, it catches one tag, but no kill. And then a bit of information denied as he can't see the Sova already crossed his site. This could be a problem as the Sova now lurks out towards the B site and can walk up those steps any moment now. Of course, the door is closed though. Yeah, they keep closing the door, isolating AKM, but meaning he can't be backstabbed. And the only impact for Sova now is to wait and catch them as they rotate all the way through spawn but he gives away his position oh that's just fruitless especially when he heard the turret be recalled that's when you know you can backstab them but yeah. instead he shoots and that just completely ruins his chances of having high impact although at least he takes down Vic on the cross back over yeah it's kind of nuts that he actually got that kill in the mid because we should know OG should know that that guy was gonna peek from B link but in the meantime defenders are pulling off the lockdown pushing out the players but there's no nano swarm to follow it up as you can see the players were aiming at the bottom of the that floor to get to destroy those nano swarms before but now half half the fuse being uh, already done but kept five people and hey sold by the early fake that had gone through wanting to take the gamble roll the dice but this time Snake Eyes. I still didn't learn if that's good or bad. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's bad. I've never played <laughs> that game before. I played the one with the cup. What's it? Yahtzee. I've played Yahtzee. Oh, that's good fun. But anyways. Bone Cold. Bone Cold. He's in trouble. Sheriff's coming around, but it looks like he's getting rid of law and order. Down they go. Killez comes out to finish the final two. Reyna needs to follow it up, and that's where she shines. So he's actually playing for his teammates. Awesome. Awesome to see that evolution of a player.
And I guarantee when he goes to the defensive side, this guy's going to turn change. up. Yeah, yeah, he's mm -hmm. just going to start wrecking people. But for now, uh, on attack, you know, that same kind of role as you're saying, you know, playing with that operator, it's not that viable. That was a risk that I don't think was worth taking. Paranoia through. If it goes from hell and a teammate jumps up, sure enough. But uh, it's a bit weird to do it in, in that situation. Back down to a two versus one at this point. Starzo has taken down Element to leave Unko by himself. He goes out to try and get that defuse, but not a chance. Killa will have an easier time playing on attack because they know Razor Edge will have to play attack on defense because of the composition. So... It's gonna be an interesting match. We'll see how OG approaches that on the second half, but we still have two full bio rounds ahead of us. And again, it's very slow approach. Cena this time showing us what he can do when he's opening up sights. He dashed in, he picked up a double, and with that, Razor Edge have got the advantages. There's a res in play, but it's for the attackers. And they're on their way over to res up right now on the B side. A double flank then can come through. This is gonna be pretty tough. You know, the, the door goes down to buy a little bit of extra time. But really, if you're OG, you're worried. that There's a ticking time bomb of those players coming up behind. You've got to take fights. And there's just no way that they're going to go their way. Because Killez is here to take heads as Starzo finishes it off. A, well, technically not flawless round. And obviously, that's playing in the hands of their opponents. Nice paranoia, completely blinded up the jet on backside AKM. Vic, Unko, Element, that's almost the whole team. There's only one left and only one round left. So obviously that ultimate comes into play. It gets popped out only by hoping to force them back. But they're going to push it down. They're going to destroy that lockdown. He gets a kill for the, his trouble. But the time is so low now as he swings on out. Killers is waiting for him. This comp is a very aggressive one. Uh, they're playing the opposite. They're playing super passive and actually set up a crossfire on site. Bone Cold goes down, but Killers is here, ready to take head. Element, though, he's showing up at last. This guy was an absolutely insane player for Raise Your Edge. Or, sorry, for OG in the past. Over on Icebox, especially, the dude averages like 30 kills. <laughs> right here, he's alone. He's got to ace out the pistol. A one versus two. He doesn't stick the spike plant, and that causes more problems now as the wall is wide open. He tries to bait them into a fight, but no one's stepping forward. The timing might have worked against him. That he's just trying to find an opening, an angle to catch one of these players left. off. They know exactly the game that he's playing, and instead they're holding back, waiting for his peak, for his aggression. The glass broken, element now confident there's no one in heaven. He has the info he needs, but they're rushing forward. They're trying to fake him out. He's gotten it planted, but they know he's underneath. They've seen him and now completely spotted him. They saw he couldn't have walked anywhere else. Easy kill, but no second or fifth, I should say. You know, raise your edge, looking about as clean as can be. You know, when you look at OG stats in this map, it's not one you expect them to dominate on, but expected a better performance than this. The Hiccup versus Heretics was one thing, but now they're looking lost. <laughs> CNED on the backside, shredding. What well, was an attempt at a force by ready to take long-range fights, and OG are in trouble. B now pushed out as well. They've reacted perfectly to the information they got about Raise Your Edge being outside of the A site. They're worried about another player in the corner, but it's over towards the B site they should be concerned about. The push coming out is short, a little bit hectic. Down goes the Nano Swarm, only by buying space for that res to come through. But Cena doesn't want it, he doesn't like it, and he's trying to take the fight. A Shock Dart tickles up Vic, a flank from Bone Cold, and he's only good for the one. It's down to the 1v2, all up to one player on Razor Edge. Cold Amenta deals with the first, no idea on the second, but this player is super, super low. He suspects he's down below and now confirms it as he can't see him above, but around the side of the wall he comes, and Cold Amenta. Uh, takes it with a three. Between the forces of the opponents, they, they couldn't react properly to it. And it almost, it was almost, uh, they, they did because they had better, um, better hardware, but it was tough. And now look at that. Kai Killis is just getting a double kill because they played aggressively, something that we said they're going to do. It was just on the round three when they can take more risk. But hey, AKM showing up with that big burst from the Bulldog now. Is that a fake? Is it not a fake? AK with the left. double kill. Two versus two. But now the two, two ultimates will gonna pay dividend uh, for Raise Your Edge. They can use them for free, basically, on B-side. There's the Rican Arrow that will tell uh, the Sage if she can go for the res or not. But now Coldamenta is separated. He can wins the fight. One versus three for Raise Your Edge. This is gonna be easy. Oh, you missed it! So that's a bit of a whiff, though. Buy some time now for Tvik to reposition a 1v3. You know, it started out well, raise your edge, they push A long, but then they push B. When they've got the info A long, it's clear. That doesn't sit right with me. Now, though, 
With Tavik having to win out this 1v3, the op is perfect to take the first fight, but he misses the shot. Down to 25 health. All they have to do is swing him, hit him with a shock dart, or hit him in the body. CNET does that. 12. It looks like everybody likes the B side. Four players from the defensive side, plus one on the way. But Razor your Edge are quickly approaching them. Straight away, down below, jumping out of Hookah right into Bone Cold's arms. Kills going their way. Raise your Edge dominating in the early fight. Starzo isolated a little bit, but no one's pushing. They're letting these fights happen one at a time. And this is not what we wanted to see from OG. It's all down to just one man. Twick, the heels are coming in. He knows he's in trouble. And around the corner come the players to finish this one off. PD, there's still yeah. more here and it sort of destroys the fake that OG were going for now facing into a couple of fights and not really getting a whole bunch for it as Sova comes My to butter. rejoin his forces there there may be no forces left to come back to they're just being torn apart on this eco and uh, well looks like we might have a flawless on our hands <laughs> I guess so to think again last one on, on <laughs> alive with 12 HP probably not for long He's being pushed, he tries to get that one kill, but if I if I would have to make a call, I would say that this map is going to be very similar to what we've seen from Raise Your Edge before on Bind. They're going to have a very dominant half on defense, but then the question is how well they can execute with their composition and attack, and we have, you know, double guess them already. Onko goes through this snake bite. Is that the previous map when we have seen Fnatic and Ballista play? So you what? over mid is with mid they can TP or get up close to for example it depends where you put it but uh, there's no way to tell before it goes down unless you're certain it could maybe go over to lamps as well whereas this way you're holding a choke point and you don't need to hold it you know no one's going to push through that like nobody's crazy enough and so you can support like on a three man fight as they come out mid it can be uh, I mean it's it's really down to how, how you're set up around it that matters the most Starzo with the cage and he flashes through it I love that from Sky as Starzo takes a triple kill and looks to make it four Unko in with his own triple but now he's left on three 30 HP. That is not ideal and caught in the shadow step. Proceed forward and try to overwhelm them, but time is so low. There's 10 seconds left. A recon dart to back sight is going to reveal absolutely everybody. They rush in on the back of the squids and only by he catches a side flank, picks off a player and buys them that opening they need. Still though, players stuck on the site. They haven't taken good post plant positions. They've got to win the duels, but isolated one at a time. Snake bite dealing double damage now with every bullet and bone cold just shot of the 3k leaves Killez to clean it up that was a textbook retake from razor edge gaming so much pressure applied that og could never get themselves set they've had a read of that themselves because they fake out presence they look to make noise on long and push some fights but i don't know why only buy is going already did they, they think that they'd fully rotated i think that's a gamble that maybe uh raise your edge we're gonna like super quick rotate to the b site now that didn't happen whatever their idea was it hasn't paid off tp to back site reveals one player they know another to be over towards elbow site is now clear they can jump out with the smoke that's down and only worry about bone cold covering the cross he's not going to be caught by the rays as he crosses over back to the other side of elbow and he should be relatively safe in comes that ultimate though and it takes down CNET on the rotate that's a huge opening kill to have taking CNET out on a retake that off now not to be worried about in the same fashion but there's damage going down to Omen Unko was stuck in the corner he got spammed still alive heals go back up for the raise your edge side but time is being eaten away at this point they need to make a move soon they're destroying the wall element catches one and he's not silly enough to re-peek that from up top. He knows they'd be holding it, so he falls back. Now peeking below, kill as goes, and bone cold. He's left in a 1v4, coming out to look for the players on site. Time is so low, but he'll go for it anyways. They've got money to spend, but they will not win the round. Oh, gee. Uh, there's still players outside there. You're going to just be firing off. Kill as did miss the second uh, snake bite not actually blocking them from running through, but they would be on such a narrow angle anyways, running through one way that you, you don't imagine they'd get much done. The ult orb being taken inside of, was that bath? But hold on, bone cold on the side swipe. I thought he had more than that in the tank, but Tvik deals with him perfectly. The flash reveals a player as they now know that Sova's walking out on B, but CNET up close should be able to deal with that. There we go. He, I think he missed his op shot and had to go to classic. A lot of damage being done by OG in a round where realistic 
realistically, they shouldn't be able to get up to much. And I like that Starzo doesn't commit to the push. It's a 2v2, and healing up his teammate versus Sheriffs is more important than actually uh, taking the fight. Yeah, I agree. And this this kind of turn around on his head, but seeing it doesn't matter. This guy just shows on defense. He is undefeated. He opens up the retake. Two versus one. They are still separated. There's a chance for 1v1 for AKM to take it, but he is has a hard task. Like he even if he hits that headshot from the sheriff, I feel like this is over 30 meters and it would only deal 145 damage. Entirely open. Seen it still holding it. He sees players in. Puka, he misses the shot, gets naded out and then traded by Onibai. He was cut off with utility so well. We said three rounds for OG is where we need to see them at, at a minimum. And that's provided that Razor Edge have a tough second half. Look at this spray down and Cold Amenta even gets him afterwards down to 33 HP. This is winnable on the retake and that's scary. Cold Amenta goes down with his low HP. Bone Cold should be soon following and indeed he is AKM cleaning house with that raise. And uh, oh wow, okay, that, that was a showstopper just thrown away. Quickly fired in towards spawn, hoping they were actually seizing the space that, well, they just weren't. This is going to be a little bit awkward now because that ult covers a lot of space, but it doesn't actually cover the spike. So they'll need to do something and actually push out of the ult, which is almost more difficult. Cold Amenta picks up one, but CNED's dropped his ultimate now out of the game. Spray down full blind works, and they manage to open space, push the players back on long. Hunter's Fury deals with Cold Amenta, leaving just Bone Cold. He dodges the first, but he's got to get in there for the defuse. Doesn't want to get tagged, and he can't stick it. There's no time for him to do that. Smoke would dissipate. He'd be dead. And in the end, Lurk Working out, Unko used it, and oh my god, okay, through the wall he's taken down, Cold Amenta fails to cut off rotations as well, the flank now open, and the spike still not made it to sight, only now does the wall go up, and they cross over, and it looks like they want to do more than just that, Killa is looking to force the fight, he's crept up behind them, already taking the fight inside of Lamps, and never mind, Starzo actually cleans house, there's the flash, spotting out both players, but a little bit late, because the kill comes through, Spike, still not planning, not even being attended because they don't have the space to do so. Bone Cold gets spotted and stuck inside of Lamps. He's being wall banged at the moment, clipped in the back down to 45 HP, and he's going to go for the teleporter. Oh, this is a big mistake. They're leaving him open to do it. He could TP and get a spike plant on B, but it's a little risky. He'd have to jump on out. 10 seconds, no time anymore, really. He's got to force the fights, and it's just not going to happen. A 4K from teleporter right after they got the kill on, on Lamps and just get back to B, but hey. Again, they are super fast. I cannot even talk about what's happening in the previous round because they're already executing on site, but quick feeding on Raise Your Edge. Will he get the ace? He gets it. First ace of the day. That's a nice little 5k for Vic. I walk, walk on the side. Cypher still in Huga gets a kill on Bone Cold. They lost the smokes. They already used on site, so it doesn't change much. But in the meantime, Kai Klis with the kill on B. He gets that crucial kill. They get the info. Where's the other player? But 14 seconds left. Gotta go. They've got to get that plan. Luckily, CNET in the back. Able to take down Vic. AKM falls. But Unko's here to harass this final player. Starzo stuck on the spot. He knows now that heaven is clear. Surely. He knows they're both on mid. He, your seekers went that way. Uh, Starzo? Okay. There's one kill. Finally. Now he's looking for the second. Knows that it's Cypher. And up close through the cage. Oni by makes the mistake of... So that's a retrieved weapon, first of all. And they're now going to have to play retake versus a Viper ultimate. When you've got those weaker weapons, that's exactly where a Viper ult can thrive in forcing you to take those close range fights. Especially with a specter of a fandom that has a suppressor and you can see or hear where the shots are coming from. So this is crucial, crucial ultimate right now. Even though it's not entirely on the spike, seen it with the free kill. And then a cr great crossfire on the hookah. Cold Amenta, even though he has a, just a classic, he is in a great position, position to guard the spike. Starks with another killer element. It's falling apart for OG. Seems like 11 runs is gonna be... A given uncle will not even try. He knows this is it. He needs to save the weapon. Oh, that is really painful for OG right now. He gets another kill as well. Cold Amanda was trying to... He didn't check it though. This could have been painful if someone was still there. There's a plan. There was a plan. Uh, there was a plan to delay the plant with the paint shells on default spot, but it's being planted in the middle of this side. And now a full five people retake against the forces of Razor Edge. That cross replacement that doesn't pay dividends! 
Oh, he gets nothing for it. The one kill traded out straight away by Bone Cold and CNED, but they've lost control over the site. Here's where you can have this ultimate come in. Huge. It's dropped down, and it's forcing the fight, grabbing himself a triple, and Bone Cold. Letter in a movie like, we have your dog. $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> but a curious decision. They don't go through bathroom, knowing that they have control there from earlier. They're moving to mid instead, and this is going to be a TP back to the B side, I think. They've already got one kill, and now they've got to deal with one more. He's taken down, and do they consider going back? No, they're finding all the kills. Unko traded on to bring it into a, a two versus three. Spike planted. Ultimate's now out of out of the question. Showstopper didn't even get popped at such a crucial time, and OG could be in serious danger. But Cole Demanda certainly is walking through that snake bite. <laughs> they won't expect him in the corner, though. That's the, that's the whole plan for OG. They're split on this retake. They have to take 1VX fights. And this is Sova on the first one, walking straight into Starzo. Cold Amenda was there to trade. And Oni buys only got a bookie buy. This is going to be pretty tough. Even going to the classic at the start. Kill.